hello guys welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys we are going to install the ubuntu which is called wls inbuilt feature of microsoft in windows so you can install the ubuntu or the kali linux whichever operating system you want to in a linux you can install that okay so in order to enable the operating system of the linux you need to go to the control panel open the control panel once you open the control panel go to this option view by and select here the large icons once you select here the large icons go to programs and features this option click on that and once you click on that you need to go to this option turn windows feature on or off you can directly search on a windows this term okay once you click on this option turn windows feature on or off you need to scroll down and look for windows subsystem for linux just tick this option and click on ok and it is going to searching for the required file so now we need to wait here now window completed the requested changes you need to reboot your system so click on restart now okay so my window has been restarted just open the cmd and i will show you the command run as administrator tap there bash and it will give the microsoft link but we can also directly open the microsoft store from there okay this is the link of microsoft store so just click on or your windows to microsoft store this command is only for the browser you can copy and paste this and hit in the browser and on the search bar you need to tap there linux and hit enter okay and you can see the linux you can see all the operating system here you can choose as per your choice but in this video we are going to install the ubuntu okay so i need to search here ubuntu like this and click on this option ubuntu and now choose this option first option or you can choose also the 18 stable version or you can choose the the version of 18 and 20014 so here you can choose also the older one or the latest one but well, I'm choosing this option latest one so you need to click on this option you can also choose this option click on get and it's going to install in a it is 589 MB so it's going to download now you can also read out about this install a complete Ubuntu terminal environment in a minute so the Windows subsystem for Linux WLS now you will see the open button here so click on open and it will directly open from there you can see okay if let's say this option is not working and this option somehow you close this option you can go to this option and type there ubuntu you can see and click on ubuntu app open it up okay and now this is throwing the error you can see required a kernel its kernel component for the visit this website so just select this and hit enter this will copy and paste so let me copy this into the microsoft browser and open it up just paste this website and we need a patch in order to install the ubuntu so let me go to this option which is step 4 download for linux kernel update just click on this link wls2 linux kernel updates package for 64 bit operating system now it's going to download now okay it's downloaded now click on open file 
okay and click on run and this is going to run the patch next click on finish okay now reopen the ubuntu operating system terminal tap there ubuntu and click on open now the error should be gone you can see there the error is gone now now you can see still getting the error enable the virtualization is should be enabled in the bios so how to check that we need to again go to the control panel just open control okay and the click on this option programs and features turn windows feature on or off and we need to look for virtualization this option virtualize virtual machine platform just enable this option and click on ok now again it's asking to restart my system so let me restart my system first so I have restarted my system let me open the Ubuntu again now you can see installing this this may take a few minutes okay so in order to check the virtualization is enabled on your windows or not just right click on the taskbar and open the task manager and go to this tab performance tab okay and click on this option which says CPU this option and you can see virtualization is enabled this should be enabled to run the Ubuntu on our windows okay so now you can see enter the Unix name now you need to tap there in the name I'm, ta I'm tapping here the tech and hit enter okay this should be a uh, like the unique name it should not be the your windows name you can see there the message also and type the password there retype the password and hit enter okay updated successfully now you can see you can see the latest version of LTS Ubuntu Linux operating system 64 bit so let me clear this okay and the command first I'm going to give the directory ls space hyphen all to check the directory inside our bash you can see there profile bash so now the question is how to access the windows drive like if I want to access the C drive from the this terminal so how to do that I need to type the command cd space slash mount ntm space slash c and then hit enter now once you hit enter you can see we are in a c drive c dollar sign now in order to check the directory in the c drive okay so we are in a c directory you can see there so in order to check the directory inside the c i need to tap the command ls space hyphen all now you can see i can see the directory of the inside my c drive this is how you can see the same directly I can see there you can see here as well as the you can see in the these are the directories okay so let's create a folder or the file inside our desktop so this is my desktop here okay so how to navigate to the desktop from this just open the users and then click on this this is the account Dell and then the desktop you need to give the current windows users name in there in the command prompt bash command so let me go to the desktop there I need to type cd space users then slash then the username Dell slash desktop 
and hit enter once I hit enter you can see I am in a Dell and in the desktop so how to create the any file txt file there so I need to give the command touch space tech dot txt and hit enter now once I hit enter you can see the notepad file is made so this is how you can use the WLS Ubuntu on your Windows operating system. So hope this video is useful for you. If yes, then hit like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching. How to fix tech.